Lois wants to join the conversation saying only testing has been talked about, but what if you test positive and you have symptoms? What are the treatments that are out there for Omicron without going to the hospital if it's not severe? It's, a, it's an important question. And as we discussed, you know, the Pfizer and Merck medications, which are slowly coming to market for very specific patient populations, you know, at, in New York, there are, you know, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people who likely qualify because of underlying conditions. Supply will be limited in the early weeks. I think they were, they're anticipating having a robust supply in, in late summer. So I think there will be a very specific use of those medications in high risk patients. Have that conversation with your provider. Again, if you're short of breath, you can't eat, you're vomiting, that's the time to seek emergent care, but if you are you know, able to keep yourself at home, call your physician, have a telehealth consultation, speak to them on the phone, and see if you qualify for these meds. Otherwise, it's keeping yourself hydrated and controlling your symptoms.